Today I came to the Southport Corridor neighborhood to look at this four-year-old brick and limestone house. One thing you can see from the outside is that it's extra wide. It's on a 37 and a half foot lot, which is a lot and a half. The, or, the conventional lot is 25 feet. And you'll see when we get inside that that makes an enormous difference in just about every detail of the house. So let's go on in and look. This is Erica, Erica Goldman, the seller of the house. How are Hi, you? Hi, good, thanks, how are you? Thanks for having me in, this is so beautiful. Oh, thanks, thank you. You did a lot of the decorating, you did a lot of the selections yourself, I think. Mm -hmm. I did work with um, two different decorators, but I did, I did lead the, the charge a bit. Yeah. Well, what came <laughs> out is just terrific. It, I mean, you start with a great house because you start with ample molding and the, the fireplace is terrific. What I love is the two layers, the fact that the fireplace has the crown molding and then there's another layer above and behind it. It's really got a, a great sort of timeless feel. What was, how does it feel living here? Oh, it's great. I mean, we love it. It's, um, it's a, we have two young children. It's a great family home. We entertain a lot. It's perfect for entertaining. We have obviously this room that you're standing in, the dining room, living room area holds um, many people and with the, the extra wide lot and the high ceilings, it's just, it's very suitable for entertaining. You've also got, I think, what do you have, two different decks, right? One above the garage, and then we're going to see one on the top floor. Correct. Correct. And there's more entertaining in the basement. You've got a theater room with, uh, no, the pool table, I think, was upstairs. That's on the top. With the, it's a pool table, poker table, video games, karaoke, And then the wine kitchenette. room is at the theater, right? <laughs> the wine room confused. is downstairs with the theater and the gym and the guest suite. But it's not just for entertaining. It's also a home. I think I've yes. noticed you've got the family room in the back. Mm -hmm. Kitchen. The, the family room is where we spend most of our time. Clearly, we have two young children, as I said. So, um, between the kitchen and the the eating area off the kitchen, and then the large family room area, um, that's that's our home. <laughs> yeah, right. And then continuing the family theme, you've got all the bedrooms on one floor. Another yes. advantage of this wide lot is you didn't eat up a lot of space with stairs, right? You've got four bedrooms on the second floor? Right, the stairs just go straight up the middle of the house from the bottom floor to the fourth floor. All the bedrooms are on the same level with an additional washer and dryer area on that level. And we have a main laundry downstairs, so. And your master, we'll see, is especially big. Yes. Well, on the way into this master suite, we see a great master bath. And I noticed you mentioned your fondness for dark cabinetry. It yes. really looks good. <laughs> But there's a lot of contrast because this is a really bright room. Mm -hmm. The white trim and things play against your dark finishes. But this room turns out to be just a real haven. It is. It is. It's great. And we get so much light in this house, too. I can see that. On these two sides, there are windows. It's, it's mm -hmm. very bright in here. Mm -hmm. But for a master suite, we love it because it's you have a whole living space and your whole sleeping space. And so... Again, with the two young children, we do mm -hmm. spend a lot of you know, time in here, um, and it's just, it's very warm with the fireplace, is, right. is nice, and it's a good family retreat. Well, and without harping on the same note, I have to say the width of the house is what makes this possible, because in so many houses, even of this caliber, if they're on a 20-foot lot, I'm, I should say a 25-foot lot, um, you're really only going to have about what we're in for the master right. bedroom. It can be deep, but what we've got is this very expansive space. And then we've got the view out to the one of the decks, the deck mm -hmm. over the garage, right? Which right, doesn't that's look the great deck, now. Right, that's the one typically in the summer. That's our dining sort of living area. We spend a ton of time out there. I can imagine you would. That's terrific. Thank but you. then you also spend a lot of time, I guess, on the top floor, yes. right? Can we go look at <laughs> that? Sure. Okay. Sure. You know, Erica, here on the top floor, one of the things I was already impressed by is there are so many houses with the penthouse room at the top and the rooftop deck. You've got that, but everything is so much bigger. I mean, the rooftop deck is bigger, but for instance, we've got the kitchen tucked around in the back. Mm -hmm. It's not right here up on top of us. The elevator comes up here. You've got room for everything up here. Right. It's a complete floor. It's not a penthouse box, like you're saying. So it's as big as any of the other floors, and um, we entertain up here a lot. It's great. We Obviously, you'll see the, the poker table and the pool table. And yeah, let's look at all this because, I mean... This looks like a place not only to entertain, but sort of spend a winter afternoon or a whole winter weekend. This is sort of a lodge of its own all the way up here. Right, right. And then, of course, in the summer, as I said, we're out on this deck a lot. That's where we, ha we put up a little pool and we lay out for sun and play with the kids. So we, um, we're up here. We're up here a fair amount. Yeah? yeah. Oh, that's great. you got the fireplace. We've got a view of the neighborhood. I don't really see any reason to go back downstairs. <laughs> for the kitchen. Oh, there you go. <laughs> 